Hi everyone, welcome to my Art Time channel. Before I start today, I'd like to say a very big thank you to all of my new subscribers and I hope you enjoy watching the videos. Today's video is my response to the Artful Evidence Facebook group's prompt, masks. And it's not masks that you wear on your face, it's masks as in masking something on the page. And as you can see, I have my 6x6 six six, uh, piece of paper. It's just cardstock. And I've got some paints out that I'm going to use. Today I'm going to attempt to do a steampunk page. I haven't done very many of them. Um, maybe one previously. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for me, I think. As you can see, I'm just putting on some Turner's Yellow. Um, just spreading it on with the baby wipe and now I'm adding some raw sienna just what again wiping it on with the baby wipe just smearing it on doing a little bit of blending as well and now just some dilutions uh, chocolate as well now I'm just adding some burnt umber and I'm going to apply it using a stamp so for a bit of extra texture onto the background and to give darken it up just a little bit as well. So just gently applying it to the background. Now I'm going to um, use a stencil to mask my background. And I'm using a blue Kaiser Craft paint and just dabbing it on with the baby wipe. Unfortunately, at this point, I had lost the footage. I'm not sure what happened. Um, but what I did do is I used some um, the blue, I continued with the blue paint, and I also did the same with black paint as well, just to highlight the edges of the gears. Now what I'm doing now is I'm using a stencil that I got from Melinda at scrapbookingcraft.com and they have some really great stencils at some really good prices. So I just used the gold paint to give some light to the background and I've just done the edges with the gold paint as well. Now I'm going in with my black gel pen and I went around all the edges of the gears just to make them stand out a little bit more from the background. I'm going to use these metal embellishments for my main focal point but I wasn't overly happy with the background still so I've got my Tim Holtz gear stamp and I'm going to stamp some onto the background just for a little bit more interest. Now just having a look again and I still decided I wasn't happy with the background so I've got some more stencils out and I'm just having a look to see which one will I will use. And I've decided on the Tim Holtz numbers one and I'm using some gesso. And dabbing it through the stencil with a baby wipe. wasn't really happy with how it turned out though so then I decided it, I would smudge it with my fingers and then I put a little bit more um, all over the background. Used a little bit um, on the baby wipe as well. Had a look again at where my focal point was going to be. Went around the edges with some black soot. And then I thought it still doesn't stand out so I've just put a little bit more of the gesso on the back as well. And now I'm just using some of the gold paint just to rub over the top of the um, gears just to brighten them up a little bit. Now 
Now, reasonably happy with that, so I'm using the glossy accents to stick them all down. Now I've printed my sentiment on some computer paper and I'm just having a look at where I'm going to place them. And the sentiment or title is Persistence and Time because I felt they were both appropriate. And I'm just going in and dabbing some vintage photo over the top of the sentiment just to take the whiteness away. And there we go, the finished product. In the end, I was very happy with it, but it might be a little while before I do another steampunk project. So thank you very much for watching and bye for now.